I've been taking in uh, some good amount of college basketball here in the in the Colorado in the Denver Colorado area, and I had to go see the Denver Pioneers uh, last Thursday night. That's yeah. not sleep, okay? Du right here downtown, <laughs> about ten minutes from the house, okay? Real close, Division One Summit League, okay? The Pioneers Summit, yeah, okay. Now, you might be asking me why why would I go see Denver? Okay, why am I wasting my time on this? Denver is host to the nation's leading scorer in Division I basketball. What? The nation's leading scorer in Division I basketball. And who is that? For the Denver Pioneers. Oh, who the hell is that? Senior guard Tommy Bruner. Nobody's talking about this guy. I think. No. First time you heard of him, it- Max? He's not even on the top ten wood, uh, t- top twenty five no. wooden watch list. No, no, leading the league in points, leading the nation, leading, leading the, the nation. nation in points at twenty four point five points per game, just over your guy Zach Eady. Okay, barely Don't got sleep your on guy. That. We'll okay. be talking about him later, everybody. Oh yeah, Zach Eady. But I went to this game on Thursday. They played a Summit League foe, the Kansas City. Ruse, not the kangaroos, Max. We got all these cougars, all these tigers, all these wildcats. We got the Kansas City Ruse. Now okay, we're respect. respect, respect. Yes, I even, I, like I even looked into it. No, it's not the kangaroos. It's the ruse. Okay? Is is their mascot a kangaroo? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Okay. But Tommy Bruner in this game, he had thirty-one points. Okay, Ooh. he was eight of seventeen from the field, four of nine from deep. And 11 for 13 from the line. 11 for 13 from the line. But you don't hear about this guy because Denver's not doing much, Max. No other starter in this game had more than five points. (laughs) Bruner isn't getting any help. (laughs) No other starter had more than five points in this game, Max. They lost 84 to 69 to these Ruse. They lost by 15 at home on senior night. Tommy Bruner's senior night. Lose by 15. Denver right now, the Pioneers. They're fifteen and sixteen overall, six and ten in the summit. They they need a they need a, ma- a they need a magical wish here in the summit league tournament to make the dance. Anything can happen. Maybe maybe this what's his name Broom, Tommy Bruner. Bruner, sorry Bruner. Tommy Bruner. Maybe this guy just goes off scoring like forty points a game and they win the horizon. Summit, sorry summit. A little uh, maybe a Kemba Walker. Magical yeah, run here. Yeah, uh, I, like man, man. I like that. I like that. But uh, Denver's not UConn, so yeah. let's let's <laughs> let's settle down. Let's definitely let's, settle down. Let's pump the brakes. But then on Sunday, uh, went to the Colorado Buffs game. Senior night. Uh, I was watching tickets all weekend. Came down to nineteen dollars. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go see a Pac-12 game for nineteen dollars. Nice. Seventeenth row. Both these both these games I went to with my guy Will. You remember Will from uh, mm-hmm. AFC North Pod? Oh yeah. Went to went to both of these games with Will, my guy, but the Buffs got this big win over Stanford. They needed this one, couldn't lose this one. They're you know on the bubble definitely before this one. They win by 10, 81 to seventy one. KJ Simpson, you know he was hot, twenty two points, five of nine from three. He was stroking it. But, Max, I want to introduce you to a guy. Now, when Zach and I went to the Arizona game, Zach really liked this guy. Okay, so this is Zach's oh, yeah. By the name, a freshman, Bangat Dak. 6'11", 180 pounds. Oh, my goodness. 6'11", 180 pounds. No wonder why Zach liked him. <laughs> <laughs> freshman from Lincoln, Nebraska. This guy can block shots. He can run the floor. He can finish. Look out for Bangat Dak next year in the Pac-12 Max. Oh, okay, okay. 
Uh, I would definitely keep my eyes out. Colorado, they got to make a run in this Pac-12 tournament. They're on the mm-hmm. bubble. They're on the bubble. They are not a for sure in there right now. I uh, I got to agree with that, Max. What are they, 21 and 9, I want to say? Let me Sounds see about here. right. It might be 20 and 9. It might be 20 and 10. They might have 10 losses. 20 and 9. 20 and okay. 9. Sitting tied in third in Pac-12. I think they can slip in there. But they might be that 11 seed that plays on Tuesday or Wednesday. At Dayton? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I could see that. I can mm-hmm. see that. 